what they had before. And the truth is, the kind of adults that tell you your youth are the best days of your life just didn't follow their dreams, no matter how successful they might seem. Happiness balancing on a knife edge, tipping over at the smallest tremor in the earth, sometimes stamping tantrum feet hard enough on the tectonic cracks to create an earthquake of their own making, to curb the expansive fields of boredom, to entertain the few hours they can bear the strain of waking. And now you're building houses on that land, tearing down nature's vines and fruits, filling sea with sand, to build a city of hollow two-bed terraces, each the same to house your fear. And one day, it could be tomorrow, you'll pause building for a second to remember the open, empty, expansive ground that once surrounded you with fresh air. The kind of freedom that emanates past your bones through to your soul, the kind that makes you whole. And then you'll shut that door for the worry that more will not be worth the effort it takes to change. For worry that the fragile houses you created the city that weighs on your shoulders as you try to excuse its existence, with already cracked black mortar walls, will be too fragile to recover from a fall. But what if you crush those houses on your own? What if you tore up society's sticky tarmac roads? What if you ignored the signs and symbolic old gestures of a tired tradition and started creating culture again? Please realise that some people have everything and those people could still have nothing at all. When you go all the way through, don't ask for a second chance. Blue is not the colour of opportunity. Make sure you spent a whole life living. Now, I can only speak for what I hope to be a quarter of my life so far, but I just don't want what generations had before.